Hello, hello, Mr. Kaczynski here, working on surface area now of cubes, prisms, and pyramids, part of section T in IXL's eighth grade skills. So surface area is just the sum of the areas of all the sides, but I do have this shortcut formula, 2B plus P times H, where B um, is the area of the base, and the, the net of any prism is always going to have two bases, okay? So we're going to multiply that by 2. And then this P times H we call the lateral surface area. It's the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. So if you multiply the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism, you'll get the area of all the other faces that aren't bases. And when we add those two things together, um, we'll, get, we'll get the surface area. All right. Don't really need that formula for this one. Maybe we just find the area of one face. And so that's 15 squared, right? Which is 225. And then since there's six of them, um, we've got the front, back, top, bottom, left side, and right side. That's six, we just multiply this by six. So 225 times six is 1,350 centimeters squared. Okay, it's a two-dimensional area. So each one is 225 each face, and there's six of them. So the cube, pretty quick and easy. All right, this one, though, we are going to use that formula. We're going to do surface area equals 2 times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. All right, let's take this step by step. All right, first of all, the area of the base. You know, maybe we look at this as the base. It's a square, okay? So that is side length squared, or 8 squared, which is 64. So each one of those bases is going to have an area of 64. All right, well, what about the perimeter of the base? Well, again, you know, we got 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, or why not just do 4 times the side length, which is 4, times 8, which is 32. So 32. And then the height of the prism is the distance between the two bases, which I'm going to call 14. Now we get our calculator warmed up here. 2 times 64. The two bases together have an area of 128. And then 32 times 14 that's 448, as in the other four sides together, their surface area is 448. And we add 128 to that, we get 576 square feet. Same formula will work here. Surface area is 2 times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. The only thing that's changed, though, is that we have a triangle now instead of a um, rectangle down there at the bottom. So let's figure out the area of the base first, okay? It's a triangle right here. So area of a triangle is one-half base times height. All right, or one-half the 16, which well, half of 16 is 8, times the height, which is 15. So 8 times 15 is 120. So 120 square inches for the area of the base. The perimeter of the base is the sum of all its sides. So we have the 16. And then the 17 and the 17, so two 17s. So 16 plus 34, two 17s is 34, that's 50. All right, so 50. And the height of the prism is the distance between the two triangles, and that's another 17. 2 times 120 is 240. 50 times 17 is 850. Sorry, I put an equal sign. 
240 plus 850. The 240 is the area of the two triangles, the front and the back, and the 850 is the area of the other three sides. So 850 plus 240 is 1,090 square inches. All right, I don't have a fancy formula for um, pyramids, okay? This one is a square pyramid though, so how about we start off by just finding the area of this base. That area is gonna be the side line squared, right? So just 7.3 squared. 7.3 squared is 53.29. Then we could find the area of this triangle right here, or maybe better yet, how about the area of this triangle? Okay, so the area of a triangle is one half um, base times height. So in this case, one half times 7.3 times 14.8. I'll just punch that into my calculator. 0.5 times 7.3 times 14.8, and that is 54.02. All right, so what about surface area? The surface area is the sum of all the sides areas. So we've got that 53.29 on the bottom, and we have four of the triangles, right? We got the right, the left, the front, and the back. So four of those 54.02s. So that would be 53.29. Four times that 54.02 would be 216.08. And when we add that to the 53.29, we get the total surface area, which is 269.37 square millimeters, or millimeters squared. All right, this one's kind of vicious because we've got a lot to do here. Um, unfortunately, there's only a couple sides that are duplicates of each other. Yep, so let's start with that one. We'll do 1 half um, 19 times 16.5. So 0.5 times 19 times 16.5, that's 156.75. Let's grab, what else can we grab here? This side. It's another triangle, which is going to be 1 half 19 times 12. 0.5 times 19 times 12, that's 114. How about, uh, well, we've only got the three sides. Is this one the same thing? Yeah, it's 19 by 12 as well. So that one back there is the same thing. But what about this one on the front? Yeah, it's the same thing too. So this one's just slightly different than the surface area is going to be equal to the 156.75. And then instead of four of the other ones, we've got three of the 114s. Save time here. I'm just going to punch this into my calculator all at the same time. And that's 498.75, 498.75 square yards. And we gotta be able to work backwards a little bit here too, okay? Um, we've got that the surface area is 294 of this cube. Well, just like we started with, um, we can just do 294 
divided by six equals sides, right? Um, so 294 divided by six, that's 49. So that means that a squared equals 49. That would be the area of just one side. So a is seven yards. Seven squared is 49. So not too bad with a cube. And I got to do one more. I know I'm um, at my time limit here. Let's get rid of that. All right. Um, and I'm going to go back to using my formula. Surface area equals two times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. We are given the surface area this time, 1558.6. Um, as far as the area of the base, let's use this as our base because I can figure out the area of that. It's 19.7 uh, times 13. And 19.7 times 13 is 256.1. The perimeter would be 2 times 19.7. It's two of these. Plus 2 times 13. Two of these. All right, so 2 times 19.7 plus 2 times 13. That's 65.4. And then the height of the prism is what we don't know. It's that distance right there. We'll call it R. All right, this is just going to take a couple steps to solve this equation, and then I'll let you go. This is one of my longer videos ever, ever but I don't know what else to do. I apologize, but we got to hit everything. So 512... 0.2 when I multiply that 2 times 256.1 and then we got the 65.4 R. Let's subtract 512.2 from both sides. So 1558.6 minus 512.2 that's 1046.4 equals 65.4 R. And then we'll divide both sides by 65.4. And that's 16. Nice round number there. So all that work, and we do get a nice clean number. 16 feet for that missing dimension. All right, I'm not going to hold you any longer. That's surface area of cubes, prisms, and pyramids. Good luck. It's a doozy.